Hi, my name is Alan, and uh, this video is demonstrating a type of in, uh, computer infection that is on the rise. For the last two, three weeks, I've been trying to get rid of this uh, infection off of two of my machines, and I am now documenting the problem. So as you can see, we are here at uh, YouTube, and um, I'm getting a message. You need to upgrade your Adobe Flash player. Um, in order to view video. Practically, uh, well, a good percentage of the videos on YouTube are Flash-based, and uh, as well as content on many, many, many sites, uh, Flash is predominant on the internet. And as you can see, I'm getting a message when I try to play any video. The Adobe Flash Player is required for video playback. Get the latest Flash Player. However, I don't want to go to Adobe. I'm using uh, Mozilla Firefox right now, and I'm getting a, a message here. Additional plugins are required to display all the media on this page. I'm going to let Mozilla do it, and um, there we go. We have the plugin, Adobe Flash Player. And there's the version, and I'm going to click Next. Firefox is installing the plugin. Old Adobe. Just be patient. My virus protection suite is uh, making sure everything is okay on the install. And we'll go ahead with the installation. And it is done. I'm just going to select never check for uh, updates and uh, click done. Okay, so now the player is installed. And, lo and behold, there's the video. Okay, works fine. Hey, everything is great. Okay. Now, let's go to a website that I am uh, currently trying to put together. I'm going to refresh the page. And as you can see, some names popped up here, some hyperlinks. This text was static before I refreshed, and now some hyperlinks just appeared on the page when I refreshed. And as you can see, if you hover, you get an ad. And this infection basically puts hyperlinks on your pages and as you can see it says click to continue and it's by text enhance and that's a text hyperlink and this one is a pop-up window and it's also by text enhance and it wants you to go to shopping.com now let's go back to YouTube and as you can see as I demonstrated already not a problem. The Flash Player plugin is installed and it's allowing me to view 90% of the content on the internet, period. It's, it's a very common plugin and they predominate the uh, ActiveX plugin situation on the internet as it stands today. I'm going to pause that. I'm going to go back to this page. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Tools and Add-ons. and go to plugins and again I'm using uh, Mozilla Firefox here and as you can see the Shockwave Flash Player has been installed and what I'm going to do is disable it it is now disabled I'm going to return to that page of text uh, that I'm working on and what you'll notice when I refresh this time, now notice this is all static text. I didn't have any hyperlinks created. Um, and when I installed the Flash plugin and refresh the page, these hyperlinks appeared. Now, when I refresh again after deactivating the plugin,
lo and behold, the hyperlinks vanish. It's just like magic. I'll go back and do it again. I'll go to the add-on manager. I will enable the Shockwave Flash plugin, ActiveX. I will go back to the web page and I will refresh again. And magically they appear. Unbelievable! So what I'm demonstrating here is the Adobe Flash connection to some of the most intrusive marketing tactics that are being used on the internet these days to infect users computers and put uh, marketing links on their pages that they're either working on or viewing while on the internet and as you can see the hyperlinks vanish once I de deactivated the plugin and refreshed the page now I tried to contact Adobe over the phone twice. The first time they had me on hold for about 20 minutes and then I was hung up on. I immediately called back and I was on hold literally for over two hours. Uh, I just set my phone on the table and got back to work on my computer and literally you know I have cell phone records of my phone call and the duration of the phone call so it was literally probably between two and three hours I was left on hold. No one ever came back on the phone searched Adobe's site and finally found a way to log in and contact them via their support portal and I was pretty adamant I sent them you know a somewhat nasty letter uh, letting them know I was on hold and cut off and no one seems to want to help me but trying to explain to them that hey I've discovered an issue uh, with your plugin and it's something that is, that is affecting hundreds if not thousands if not millions of people and it's something that I wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt and to make them aware of it and also send them this video to demonstrate it and I got no response from either uh, trying to contact through a uh, telephone and through the service portal. They probably think I'm just a crazy idiot because I was pretty adamant after being on hold for about two and a half, three hours and hung up on and etc. So uh, my discontent was understandable, um, but probably not received well, which, uh, which I understand. I am taking other measures to try to get the word out about this uh, and get to the bottom of it because I've been in chat rooms and tech forums for the last three weeks trying to resolve the issue and I've run into hundreds if not thousands of people who are being affected by the same thing. Alrighty, so let's get to the bottom of this folks. Alrighty? Thank you so much.